if you ever look at your account and go oh my god where did all that go i swear i had more than that it's something you need to do Today is Saturday and I want to prepare meals and stuff for the coming week so I'm going to be wiping off my magnetic whiteboard looking through the cupboards and the freezer, the fridge, we don't really have much of a pantry right now but I'm going to be looking through all of the food seeing what meals I can make from what we have right now and then I'll kind of think okay well we want this for Monday, this for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever and um, what kind of stuff do we need to get from the supermarket so this is what I want to do before we head out the door and I thought I would share it with you guys so you know what I'm doing and you might think oh that's a good idea I'm going to start doing things that way. <laughs> Let's get this wiped off and look through the cupboards. Okay, so we've got tuna chunks. Jim was actually asking for tuna and pasta yesterday, so that's obviously why Carl's picked that up. And I know we haven't got any, but we need to get some jacket potatoes. We have not had in a long time, and it come to me seeing this, sausage, beans and eggs with chips for tea. So I think that's going to be another one. Tia's got one tin here and another tin here for her tea. So that's two nights of tea for Tia. Um, probably pick another one up today. I'd rather be ahead than getting it day by day. Um, okay, let's have a look in the freezer. Ooh. I might be able to do enchiladas with this. Should be out of We need to go to Iceland and get all of our usuals. Chicken breast burgers, chicken nuggets, chicken breast, uh, breast sticks. So this draws normally for all of our bags of like food and stuff and then this one's normally for like fries, normal fries, salt and pepper fries, jacket potatoes, potato waffles. So <laughs> this is normally full, we definitely need to stock up. And then this one, ah, I put those down there for dad last night so the kids didn't eat them and they were forgot about. <laughs> Um, put that in there we could get our favourite curries from Iceland as well we could have hot dogs for tea one night need to get the beans out and put those like this and then we just have a ton of these pastas they're Maddie's favourite ones the unicorn cheese and tomato and then these are everyone else's favourite we've got one rice Okay, so what I like to do is go on to my reminders list and do a shopping list. We need tin foil, tea is tea and noodles you can only get like three or four packets at one time now because people are bulk buying them. When I say us included I mean we would get four, five, six packets at a time because there's five kids and they go they're gone through like no tomorrow. Uh, we've got hot dogs in the cupboard so I need to get hot dog buns. 
and chips. I've just split the meals up so <laughs> hot dogs on one day, tuna and pasta with jacket potato on another day. I said we've got tuna but we need pasta and jacket potatoes. We've got beans and eggs but need sausages and then chicken breast, peppers, cheese because Kyle's got mature cheese and like 70% of us don't like it. So peppers, cheese and I need another small Pyrex dish from Tesco's. I've got a large one but for two enchiladas each, one person, their two can't fit in the dish so I need another one. And then all of this is just um, fall decorations that I have in mind. But yeah, so one, two, three, four meals. And then if we look on here, again, we will go to Tesco's and get all of our chicken stuff, um, which will probably fill in these. We've got pizza on one night. We'll probably have chicken wraps, maybe chicken and rice or chicken burger or something. I just write down as much as I can think and another thing is the meals aren't set to this day so if I decide today's Saturday so tuna pasta and jacket potato we kind of want an easy tea so we're gonna go with pizza we're not but <laughs> that's how this kind of works so I'm just waiting for Kyle and Maddie to get back from the laundrette and then we're gonna jump in the car I am gonna brush my hair first then we're gonna go to Iceland just to get these few bits for the week ahead and I'll take you guys along I'll show you what we've got yeah this is how I like to prepare for the week ahead at the weekend so that I know when Kyle's at work I don't have to worry about having to run to the shop Nuggets. Yeah, should we get just one because we've got it down for tea? pretty much is done over three days so we started on Saturday with going shopping and looking through the cupboards and the freezers and then on Sunday we went to the park and played on the trains Now today is Monday and I'm gonna be sitting down tracking my expenses because I get paid on Tuesday and I want to have all of this done so um, I wanted to share it with you guys I actually have uh, a lot of receipts to go through so I'm gonna start off by putting all of these into day order we'll have a look and then we'll see what the next step is I like to track with the budget mum. I do have her budget by paycheck method workbook. This is what it looks like on the front, the budget mum. And 
I'm currently just tracking my expenses. We have a lot, a little bit more than I would like to have to get through, but they were all together. And as you can see from the blue lines, scoring out what I've kind of already tracked really helped ensure that I don't track these again. Put them to one side and we're gonna go through these. So what I tend to do is this one's from Tesco. So what I'll do is I'll go through all of this and pick out all of the food and then I'll add all of those together and then if there's anything like my Miss Hint tea coffee and sugar canisters that will go under home decor section if there's like tears tea or treats in here that will go under tears section and for each section I add together what it is and that way we can track how much we've spent on food how much we've spent on tea any maybe unnecessary things that we've spent on home decor and stuff like that that's what I'm about to do and then my favorite bit comes so these are some of the September trackers. My favourite bit is the colour coding. Let's have a look over here. So our food is apple green. So food here and here. Okay, so we've got the date, the account, which is my checking account, the transaction. So that's like Iceland, Tesco. <laughs> Because I don't. Are you going to be quiet now? Uh, so I can film. Okay. So like I was trying to say, fill in the date, so this is the date that the money was spent or the date of the receipt. My account is my checking account. We've got our transactions, which is things like Iceland or Tesco, spa, home bargain, Asda and the laundrette. This one is more my subscriptions. So we've got Apple.com, GiftGaff, Amazon, Epidemic Sound, Canva, Brooklyn got a book from Lulu.com. So, and then the category. So in Amazon, I spent something that would be under the housing section. In Amazon up here, there was something in the beauty section. Amazon up here, pets. Oh, in fact, that was Madison's snail house. And then the withdrawal is basically just how much was spent. So like in Iceland on food, we spent 56.55. Is That looks like the same day, the 30th of the 8th in Iceland. We spent on food, 23.94. We must have forgot some things. Brooklyn's book was 24.19, which made me think of Monsters, Inc. 23.19! 24.19! 24.19! I'm pretty sure that was the number that they were shouting when he had the sock on his back. And so I thought that was funny when I had to write that down. So then what I wanted to do after I'd gone through and tracked all of our expenses... <laughs> shh, was to write down each week. So I actually haven't done this as you can see. The 30th of August to the 5th of September on food we'd spent £231.21 and then I wanted to track from the 6th of September to the 12th, the 13th to the 19th, the 20th to the 26th and then the 27th of September to the 3rd of October and see how much from my big payment to my next big payment, how much we'd spent on food just so that we know. A couple hours from Japan, would you stay Losing touch of who I am when you're far away And I feel like I'm running in circles around you mm. And I know I've been acting strange for a while But I want you close
and I've tracked all of my expenses from the 30th of August to the 29th of September. That was not fun. Um, I had a couple of mishaps. I worked it out at one thing and it's another. <laughs> so I've just put a bit of a calculation there to tell. But now my favorite bit, I'm gonna highlight all of my expenses. I do have this budget category code. So anything that is labeled food will be in green we've got housing in like this purple car in gray holidays in orange i think we had one for brooke pet comes up a lot although we changed it to tia because everyone was like she's not a pet you can't have her under a pet category she's got to be under tia so i changed that and yeah so i'm just gonna get these colors out and make this boring plain sheet look a lot more fun like this <laughs> A new home for a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride A new man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it Okay, so my camera battery, not my camera battery, my camera memory card was full. So I've got some stuff off my camera onto my phone. And in the meantime, while I was waiting, I finished up highlighting this section. I thought I'd leave this and continue to highlight this bit with you guys, but I did this. And then what I also did, if you look on here, I calculated from the 6th to the 12th and the 13th to the 19th. And our weekly food alone is around about £100 as you can see. So I'm actually going to ignore that because this shop is from when we first moved into this house. We had absolutely nothing. So I guess that makes sense, but this is definitely more what I'm happy about. I don't mind it being around the 100 mark. There's seven of us in this house. So I think that is reasonably good. That was a shocker. I was actually not happy about that, but this I'm a lot happier about. So I thought I would calculate these two weeks with you as well once we've finished highlighting this. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how accurate these two are. The first week we were here was £231.21. As I said, I'm pretty sure that is not a reoccurring thing. That's just because it was our first ever shot and we were dead. <laughs> and we were getting all of the things that we don't normally have to buy on a weekly basis. So then on the second week, we've got 103.84. Then we've got 126.58. To be honest, as you can tell by all of my receipts, I haven't been like aggressive on tracking our expenses. So it's definitely something I want to get back into. But we've got 62.52 and then 59.61. So we're looking at around 130, 40, 150. 50 alone just for food. I really, really like this idea of tracking our expenses. I love the colour coordination. It just really helps. The first thing that I'm concentrating on is how much we spend on food a week. Now, while I do have a good idea that it's around about £100, the budget mum has it. What's it called? A monthly spending comparison. So my food expense from September compared to my food expense from October and see if the food spending is about the same month to month and then I'll have a pretty good estimate on how much we need to put away a month for food alone. So I'm really excited. 
I've come in my room because the kids are taking over the front room but what I wanted to say is I highly recommend tracking your expenses we're not tracking our expenses to put limits on ourselves it's honestly just so that we can know how much is going out how much is going out where so I highly recommend trying to keep up with tracking your expenses on a daily basis I'm not gonna let it get that bad again I think I've got like three weeks worth of receipts here essentially i want us to have a thousand pound emergency fund i want us to have a cushion fund so basically yeah we're gonna have money aside for food that's about 140 pound a week for food but then we've also got a cushion over here of 100 pound which means when we go seven pound over on our food it's come from our cushion so we're never out of pocket and we're never tightening our belts where we don't necessarily want to i am going to talk so much more about this in future videos just spotted throughout just because I'm really passionate about it. I've wanted to do this for the longest time but it's only since moving into this house that I've actually been able to do it because I mean for 16 years we've been together but we've been on the complete opposite page until this house. It was part of the like if we're gonna move in together and we're gonna do this properly we've got our put our expenses together we've got to know what's coming in and what's going out from both of us and not just me not just you is a joint effort so it wasn't until we said we need to get on the same page again you might need to just reassure your partner like his thing was he refused to do it for the longest time i'm not having a budget on my food category at first no matter how many times i said it it just wasn't really registering i'm not saying that <laughs> you just have to be persistent in a kind caring calm just keep chipping away eventually i hope for your sake like mine it did eventually work but yeah I again want to share just things that we're doing to make our life better to help you guys so that hopefully your life can be better you need to know where your money's going it doesn't matter where it's going it doesn't matter if you're spending more of your budget on going out if you can afford that like there's just knowing where it's going if you ever look at your account and go oh my god where did all that go I swear I had more than that <sighs> budgeting is something you need to do or at least track your expenses i've heard people say i don't budget anymore i just track my expenses if that's all you want to do that's fine but you need to know where your money's going seriously it's massive <laughs> even if that's all you do you need to do it okay guys i'm gonna stop rambling i really hope that you enjoyed this video i am gonna be doing some bursts of cleaning motivation in the coming videos i think i've got one more video and then i'm gonna start doing some bursts of or cleaning motivation where i have videos that are about 10 to 12 minutes long um so if you're interested in that do subscribe i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!